Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now would you believe me if I told you that this GTX 750 Ti can keep up with the RTX 3070? Of course you wouldn't because 99% of the time that simply isn't true. Since revisiting GTA 4 in the last video using the modern 3000 series card, a lot of you also requested that we take a look back at another notorious PC port, Saints Row 2, where GPU hierarchy and performance logic goes out of the window. We looked at this a while back with a small selection of cards and the results were certainly interesting so today while I'm waiting for a delivery of some more PC parts to review I thought why not see if we can finally maintain a solid frame rate here. The game is running at max settings and all the detail options are enabled too with the exception of depth of field and motion blur which is just due to personal preference. Just like GTA 4, this is one of my favourite games of all time, on console at least, and just like GTA 4, it is fixable with community patches. I believe another patch is actually being worked on right now by a small two-person team, so we'll definitely be taking an updated look at it when that is released. Today though, we're looking at the raw vanilla Steam version of this title. So as you can see we're averaging at least 60 FPS here though there are a few unwelcome drops at random points on the map. There was one particular spot that cut the frame rate completely in half for no apparent reason too. The trouble with Saints Row 2 on PC is that it's a bad 360 port but even so it's still a very fun game. It's still positively reviewed on Steam and despite its flaws with a modern i5 10400F and RTX 3070 we can finally max it out with over 60 FPS on average. The lack of issues here might also have a lot to do with the i5 being clocked at 2.9 gigahertz. If I remember correctly, because this game was an Xbox 360 port and the Xbox 360 CPU is clocked at 3.2 gigahertz, anything above that messes with the speed of the game. I don't know if that is still the case, but I didn't have any issues here apart from the occasional and pretty severe frame loss. I also can't run it at 4K, so I can't test that because there's no option in the game's menu. I'm actually really glad that this game runs well on my hardware for the most part because like I said it's a good game and this means that I get to play through it again but at the time of this video the PC version still isn't great. Remember what I said at the start about the 750 Ti coming close to the RTX 3070? Well if we switch to the 750 Ti now then the average frame rate actually falls just one or two frames short of the 3070's result but the 1.1% lows are better with the weaker card. Again, Again, I think it's our processor that's saving the day here. I can still easily recommend this game, I mean it's Saints Row 2 and it's awesome but just be aware that I can't really give you any solid guidance on how it will run on your PC and even if you have the exact same specs as me I still can't guarantee you that's how well it would run for you but yeah this old game may still be frustrating and crush your 60 fps hopes and dreams but the game itself holds up very well and the story is a pretty good one so if you want to try it out i would certainly recommend doing so on console before giving the pc release a go but there we go another unoptimized game tested with the rtx 3070 and modern i5 10400f let me know down below how the game runs for you on your hardware if you enjoyed this video leave a like on it down below leave a dislike if you didn't subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully we should be back to reviewing some more pc parts in the next one